Hey guys, welcome back to Pop Culture with Pat. So today I got a brand new mask review video for you guys and I'm actually really excited for this one because it is the Trick or Treat Studios Herald from Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. Um, I grew up on these books and so I was super excited when, you know, the movie was coming out. I uh, saw the trailer, you know, I ended up really enjoying the movie. If you haven't seen that, you know, definitely recommend you guys go uh, check that out. But one of the big highlights for me was just how good the monsters, you know, looked from the film or how they came from the book and looked in the film because, you know, sometimes they can change those things. But I, I honestly thought that, you know, it looked basically right from like the pages of the book. Uh, so I thought they did a great job. So I'm going to be talking about the mask, you know, my thoughts on it. And um, without further ado, we'll go ahead and get into it. But yeah, so as you can see right here, here's the uh, the tag for Scary Stories Tell in the Dark. And you got Harold right there, which is, you know, it's cool. Um, this is sculpted by Connor DeLess, hopefully saying that right. But and then uh, Trick or Treat Studios tag. I actually ended up getting this off eBay. So I, I ended up uh, saving a few bucks because I know Trick or Treat Studios, whenever I get from them, um, it's... It, Usually like 14, 15 bucks in like shipping. So I actually, I got this free shipping um, and it was like 55. So I ended up saving a little bit of money. So pretty happy about that. Um, so yeah, there's the tag. And just overall, like looking at the mask, I'm really, really happy with it. Like there is a couple things that, you know, maybe could be improved, but for the price, I think they did a really good job. Um, you know, just the way that, you know, the mask itself, like the face looks, I thought, you know, it's spot on really from like the movie. Um, maybe could do a little bit of a paint job on it, you know, just kind of darken some up uh, some of like the, the cracks and stuff like that. Maybe that make that like a little bit darker. But overall, I think that, you know, it looks really good, especially for, you know, the price that you're, you're paying for this thing, which in my case is like 55 bucks. I think he's like 60, 60, 70 bucks like retail um, from like their website. But yeah, so for the price that you pay, I think that, you know, the detail and stuff in his face it is really cool. All the different cracks and stuff in his mask. And it's, you know, it's all latex. Yeah, it's kind of had that, you know, chunky like look to him. The one of the things that um, which is it's fine, like I said, especially for this price, you know, it's not a huge deal, but I almost kind of wish that. So this piece down here, um, you know, that's like below his neck, that's almost supposed to be like a burlap and it has like, you know, this like rope that, you know, is wrapped around it. But this piece right here, I almost wish that that would have been like a burlap or some kind of like other material just to kind of give it more of that like scarecrow look. So that's probably one of the like few complaints that I have is just like this piece like right here. But like I said, yeah, you have this little like rope here that um, I assume, you know, you can just kind of leave it tied like this. Or I believe in the movie it's like tied to like the uh, post. I'm actually thinking about using this and like making like my own scarecrow. So uh, that's what I'll probably do to kind of, you know, keep them from falling back or, you know, whatever. Um, but that's cool. They also... We'll go over here and see like the, the side view. So you can see like his hair. And I think for the most part, um, you know, I've tugged on it like a few times and the hair seems to be in there pretty good. Um, so they did a good job securing that. Like sometimes with, with masks that have hair, they can be a little shetty. Um, I haven't worn it like I've only put it on like a couple times like so far and haven't put it through like heavy use but so far it seems to be like it stays on there you know tug on it and it's not like pulling out or anything like that so that that's pretty cool I, I like the little you know the touch of the hair um it's funny because like in in the poster like the little tag like over here it, you know that the coloring makes it seems like it's black but you know from like in the actual movie it definitely is kind of like a a blondish like color to it so uh, that seems like pretty accurate and then you see the the back of the head it kind of like splits like right here and then again you have that it, it's supposed to be like a burlap but it is like latex so I, that's the one thing that I, I wish that they maybe would have done um like the burlap instead of just like the latex it would have just added a little bit to me um i don't know probably would have brought the cost down but um or maybe it would have brought it up i don't know but and then 
go ahead and spin this around for you. So there is the back piece here. So you have this like cool little uh, like band, you know, that's supposed to be kind of holding like the face, you know, this part of it. It's supposed to be holding that together, but it's, you know, it's part of like the mask. It's not like a separate like piece or anything like that. And then the uh, the back part of the the rope that I showed you guys, you know, in the in the front, and it has like uh, there there is like a little bit of a slit, but with the rope, um, it doesn't really like open up that big. I'm using a a weight right now to actually display this thing to hold it up because I don't have an extra like mass stand, so bear with me with that. But then you can kind of see the back of his head too, uh, so you have like the streak of hair like going down here. There's a little bit more. I mean, he kind of like flopped over, but I mean, you could like move the hair back like that. But so he comes with like a couple strands of hair, like basically on like each side. So I think that's like, you know, that's a cool touch. I did just notice though, guys. So uh, going to put this mask on, hopefully you can hear me. But I did just find out, you know, trying to put this thing on. You will need to remove that rope, at least I had to, because with the rope on, it was way too tight to get my head into here. So just a heads up on that, if you go to put the mask on, you will definitely have to remove the rope. But yeah, there. Some side shots. Overall, um, I have a pretty decent sized head. And once I took like the rope off, I was able to get this thing on pretty much no problem. So it is a fairly decent sized mask. And here is an inside view of the mask. So like I said, uh, you know, just showing you with it on, I had to end up, um, you know, removing the rope because otherwise way, way too tight. Like there's no way I would have been able to get my head in there. So you have to pull that off in order to get your head into the mask. Um, at least I did. I don't know. Maybe I just have a big head, but yeah, there's like the inside. You can see, uh, down there, there's like the, the like kind of stitching of like where the hairs, you know, like comes through. But other than that, there's like no padding or anything like that. I know sometimes trick or treat studios, they, uh, they have like the padding for the mask, but there's nothing in that, uh, at least for this mask here. And there's like the slit now. You can see it a little bit bigger. I said you couldn't before, like a second ago. But yeah, once you take the rope, rope off, you can definitely see that there. So yeah, there there you go, guys. You know, give you a couple of different different angles of, you know, what the mask looks like. I did one, you know, with uh, it being on like my, my head. Because I know last time with, uh, I think it was like my Pennywise mask, you guys wanted to see it on my head. Um, hopefully you could kind of hear what I was saying. But if not... Uh, basically just saying that you, you do have to take that, you know, the rope off and the mask to get it on. At least I did. Um, it is a pretty good size um, for like a hat. What am I like? I haven't worn a hat in a while, at least like a, a fitted one. But I think I'm like usually a, but somewhere between like seven five eighths and like three fourths, somewhere like around there. Um, but it is like a pretty good size. Once you take that rope off, you know, you'll be able you should be able to get it on like no problem. But uh, overall, I am really, really happy with this mask. Like I said, um, it probably helps that Harold is, you know, like one of my like, you know, favorite characters, especially from the uh, scary stories to tell in the dark universe. And I think they did a really good job again for that price. Is there a couple things that, you know, maybe I would adjust? Yes. Like I said, like the burlap, maybe darkening up like, you know, some of the uh, the spots here, like on the head, just making that like a little bit darker. But Overall, I am pretty happy for, you know, what I paid for for this mask. So, yeah, I'm actually thinking about getting, you know, possibly the other two as well. There's the uh, Pale Lady and the um, the Big Toe Corpse. So I'm, I'm thinking about possibly picking up those as well. But, yeah, let me know what you guys, you know, think down below in the comments. You know, is this a mask that you're thinking about getting for Halloween this year? It is out now. Um, Trick or Treat Studios, I know, I think they just put it up, like, it's finally in stock on their website. Like I said, I got mine on eBay. Um, but let me know if you're thinking about picking it up, or if you're thinking about getting any of the other trick or, uh, scary stories to tell in the dark Trick or Treat Studios mass. So let me know down below in the comments. And as always, guys, if you are new to the channel, please make sure to subscribe and hit that bell button next to it, just so that way you get notifications for all my new videos. And as always, guys... Please make sure to check back 
for more pop culture with Pat.